In classical physics, we take for granted that space has fixed, well-defined coordinates. If you measure an object's position in one direction, then in another, the two measurements commute, meaning the order doesn't change the outcome. However, at the quantum scale, this assumption breaks down. What happens when space itself no longer behaves like a smooth, continuous fabric? In non-commutative geometry, the coordinates of space are not independent numbers, but rather operators that do not commute, just like position and momentum in quantum mechanics. This means that measuring one coordinate can disturb another, leading to uncertainty-like effects in space itself. Imagine trying to measure where an electron is, only to find that by defining its x diameter, its y diameter becomes uncertain. How can space behave like this, and what does it mean for our understanding of reality? <laughs> At extremely small distances, near the Planck scale, tilted 10, 35 meters. Some theories suggest that space may not be a smooth background at all, but rather a fuzzy, quantized structure where positions are inherently uncertain. This idea appears in advanced physics models like string theory and quantum gravity, where space-time ceases to be a simple stage for events and instead becomes an active participant in quantum processes. One of the biggest implications of non-commutative geometry is its role in black hole physics and the early universe. If space itself is quantized, could it prevent singularities? Places where physics seems to break down, like the center of black holes or the Big Bang. Some theories propose that non-commutative geometry could resolve infinities in quantum field theory, providing a framework for a deeper understanding of gravity at the quantum level. Even more intriguingly, experiments in solid-state physics and condensed matter systems have revealed behaviors that resemble non-commutative geometry Certain exotic materials, such as topological insulators, exhibit quantum behaviors where spatial coordinates lose classical meaning, hinting that these effects are not just theoretical, but may be observable in lab conditions. If space itself follows quantum rules at the deepest levels, does it mean that reality as we perceive it is an approximation of a much stranger, more fundamental structure? Could non commutative geometry hold the key? to unifying gravity and quantum mechanics. As physicists continue to explore this paradox, we may uncover answers that revolutionize our understanding of space, time, and the very fabric of existence. Non-commutative geometry challenges the classical view of space by introducing fundamental uncertainties in spatial coordinates, meaning that measuring one coordinate can affect another. In quantum mechanics and string theory, spatial coordinates become non-commutative, implying that space itself may have a fundamental uncertainty at small scales. This paradox suggests that space is more like a fluctuating quantum field than a fixed continuous entity. In quantum field theory, non-commutative algebra leads to modified Heisenberg uncertainty relations impacting particle interactions. This is similar to measuring a turbulent river's flow. Depending on the sequence of measurements, different results emerge, making precise definitions impossible. The interplay between position and momentum in non-commutative geometry extends the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, meaning that even space itself behaves as a quantum system. Some quantum gravity models describe space as a discrete lattice where position operators do not commute, leading to a minimum measurable length scale, like measuring an object's exact position on a vibrating drum head, the underlying fluctuations prevent any single measurement from being absolute. At fundamental scales, space-time coordinates do not obey classical commutation rules, leading to modified equations of motion in quantum gravity. This means that at extremely small scales, such as the Planck length, the fabric of space may be influenced by quantum effects that alter conventional physics. Studies in loop quantum gravity and string theory suggest that non-commutative effects could explain certain deviations in black hole physics and cosmic inflation. Imagine space-time as a pixelated screen. What looks continuous at microscopic scales is actually discrete and influenced by underlying rules at finer resolutions. Certain extensions of the standard model incorporate non-commutative geometry to explain fundamental interactions, suggesting that fundamental forces might arise from deeper algebraic principles rather than conventional field theory. 
Alain Conez non-commutative geometry framework has been used to predict corrections to the standard model that could be tested in high-energy physics experiments. This is similar to discovering that the laws of chess emerge not just from the rules of individual pieces, but from an underlying algebra governing their interactions. Black holes provide an extreme environment where quantum mechanics and gravity interact, making them an ideal testing ground for non-commutative geometry. Some models propose that near a black hole's singularity, space itself behaves non-classically, altering predictions about event horizons and Hawking radiation. Non-commutative models suggest that black holes might have a fuzzy core rather than a true singularity, avoiding infinite density predictions. <laughs> like trying to squeeze a fluid into an infinitely small point, quantum fluctuations prevent space from collapsing completely, forcing it into a new structured form. Quantum entanglement challenges classical locality, and non-commutative geometry provides a possible mathematical framework to describe these effects. If space itself follows non-commutative principles, then distant entangled particles might be connected by deeper algebraic structures rather than conventional space-time. Certain formulations of the ADS slash CFT correspondence suggest that entanglement and non-commutative spacetime could be linked through emergent gravitational effects, like two people communicating instantly across a vast distance in a hidden network. Non-commutative geometry suggests that connections in spacetime might be structured differently than we assume. Quantum computing relies on non-classical logic, and non-commutative geometry provides a potential framework for optimizing quantum circuits. By leveraging non-commutative structures, researchers may develop algorithms that process information in ways beyond conventional quantum mechanics. Certain topological quantum computing models explore the use of non-commutative algebra to enhance fault tolerance and computational efficiency like discovering a new way to organize data using a non-linear filing system. Non-commutative logic could unlock novel ways to manipulate quantum information. During the early universe, quantum fluctuations dominated space-time, potentially introducing non-commutative effects. If true, this could provide explanations for certain anomalies in cosmic microwave background radiation and large-scale structure formation. Some inflationary models introduce non-commutative space-time to explain deviations from standard predictions in the cosmic microwave background. Like watching ripples form on a pond's surface, the early universe's fluctuations may have imprinted non-commutative patterns that shaped cosmic evolution. Although non-commutative space-time remains a theoretical concept, high-energy experiments might reveal its effects. Deviations from expected particle interactions at the Large Hadron Collider or modifications to gravity at small scales could provide indirect evidence for non-classical geometry. Certain particle physics models predict that non-commutative effects could be observable in precision tests of quantum electrodynamics or gravitational wave detection. Like trying to detect the structure of an invisible web by watching how objects move through it, scientists look for subtle hints that space-time is not truly continuous.